VBAdrenaline.com. It's Darren Tipton again, and another committed uh, interview here today. We are joined by another Texas star, uh, Cassie O'Brien, and latest commit going from Texas to the Bluegrass State. Cassie, thanks for taking time to talk with me. Yes, thank you so much. So first of all, it took about a week total during the recruiting process. Tell us yes. a little bit about what your journey was like that last week before you actually verbal yeah. to Coach Skinner. Yeah, so it was pretty crazy. Um, you know, there was a lot of schools reaching out. I was getting on the phone pretty much every day, talking to a lot of different schools. Um, I always kind of had in mind that Kentucky was on my top, but going into the process, I wanted to keep an open mind and talk to other schools and make sure, like, I I get to know every school. Yes. One. What What was that like for you as a as a sixteen year old to do that? Yeah, it was definitely um, a little nerve wracking, you know, because all the coaches I talked to were amazing. You know, if I couldn't like coaching wise, I probably couldn't just choose one coach, you know, or one coach to go to because they're all amazing. But I think it really just came down to where the school was and what I was really looking for. And so let's talk about that, the whole why Kentucky, um, mm -hmm. what you're looking for. Expound on that a little bit. Yeah, so um, I was kind of looking for more of not a super gigantic school, but not extremely small either, kind of in between. And then good location, not like in a giant city, but you know, and so I felt like Kentucky kind of really felt like fit that. And um, the coaching was amazing. All the coaches were amazing. But I think the program that they have and, and in the upcoming years is just going to continue to get even better. So we're going to take a look now at some of your uh, highlights as we keep going here, keep talking. But as we broke those down, um, the thing I said to you off camera was hype. You play with energy and emotion. Talk about that a little bit in your game. Yeah, so I think being able to play with energy and fight and fire, it really just, you know, not only boosts up yourself, but it boosts up the team. And it creates, you know, you're having fun, you want to win, but with energy and having, like, and, you know, and confidence, you just – You'll, you'll play your best game no matter what. And I think that is really something special with the team you play on right now, too. And let's talk about that team you play on right now. You talked about a couple options. And Miss Warren, who we've had a chance to interview a couple times, talk about playing with her, but also all of your options on that talented team. Yeah, so she's, she's a powerhouse. She can put the ball down. So I think really creating one-on-one -on -one options for her as a setter really creates her to be able to hit any shot that she can you know she has a great line shot great deep cross shot sharp cross as well but then we also just have other amazing hitters you know all three of our um our two outsides and right side they all play six rotations so that's something really special about our team and our middles are amazing as well so they can touch really high so all right, I'm going to ask you to brag about yourself a little bit because we talked. I'm an old football coach, so I don't know a lot about volleyball. Tell mm -hmm. me something when I watch your film. What's something you think you do very well? Um, I would say something I do really well is just um, bringing, I mean, we set a lot of energy, but also just um, spreading the offense, you know, mixing up, mixing up the, like, go, like mixing up the flow is what I'm trying to say. Mixing up the flow, you know, trying to create those one-on-ones with four hitters so I can put them up in a position that they'll be able to most score in. What about your vision on the court as a setter? Do you think yeah. that you're an offensive weapon? I saw in some of your highlights with the dump For shot. Sure. Is that something you do well? For sure. I love to dump the ball if I get the opportunity. I think it really keeps the back row on their toes. Um I love going to the middle. I love the behind shot now because I've really worked on that. So it's been great. So how going into uh, to nationals, is this a load off that you can just focus with your team? How are you feeling now that you've made this huge decision? Yeah, so 
I definitely think, you know, it kind of relieves a little bit, but I'm excited to go into nationals and be able to play and hopefully, you know, get that national championship that we want. How the heck do you sort everybody out in Texas? They're <laughs> amazing players, hundreds yes. of them, right? And so what's that competition like? Just, you don't have to leave your state. Yeah. What is it like growing up and playing against that talent in Texas your whole life? It's awesome. Um, it definitely, you know, we like, we go to Dallas and we're able to play some of the best teams in the nation. So I think it really helps um, not like us getting, be able to play just great teams and so close and not having to travel super far. And it, um, it allows us to just um, get even better and, and, you know, practice more and play some of the great teams. That's awesome. Well, Cassie, it's been awesome getting to know you. Um, you made a new fan of me because of your energy <laughs> on the court, right? I'm sure you're a good setter too, but you keep up the the energy. Um, excited to watch you in uh, in Chicago with your team. Um, and one last thing, maybe tell the Kentucky fans what are they getting in their newest setting prospect. <laughs> um, they will be getting someone who loves the game, loves um, having fun, and is excited to be there. And I'm excited to see all what I can do when I get there.